Hey, what's up, guys? It's Lazarus. Welcome back to another episode of Hackers. And I've been doing a lot of stuff, especially upgrading the Sentry, which is now level 13 and looks amazing. Um, I've also upgraded my Guardian here to level 5. Now, this is really going to help me. Now, you may have been thinking um, that I was using it as a choke point, but... After um, some of you suggested that I switch my sentry and my core around, um, I've kind of made the sentry and scanner here like a double choke point because they're going to go after the scanner. And the first thing that um, attacks next is the sentry, not the turrets. So they have to go um, through the scanner and then to through the turrets and the core and all that. So... Um, the Guardian's really going to help us here because it's going to put a shield on the turrets, of course, and the sentry, which they go after, and the core. So um, after they take the sentry, it's going to go after the core. With the shield on the core, it's going to take them extra long to get through it. Really going to help. So that was a great suggestion by you guys, and it's been a while. So let's go take a look at the readme files that you left. Um... The first one comes from Pixie. No loot, but my chance to get featured. Hi, Mom. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's great. Um, Magnolonium. Uh, finally found you. Please hack me back. Oh, yes, we did, and I will show that in a second. Um, Staz. Hey, Laz. Long time no see. It has been a long time, indeed. Atomics, too strong for me. Oh, that's unfortunate, buddy. Um, Apache, I like your work. Keep on going. Thanks, man. And he, he says, what vids are you guys talking about? Link, please. Uh, but you guys don't have to worry about that because I already went and hacked him, left him a link, and I took $440,000 and a whole bunch of B-coins from him. <laughs> and then the one buff guy just dropping by. I like the new core and sentry placement, which was a suggestion by you guys. And then Fran says, shame your sentry was upgrading maybe next time. So some people did have a free shot at my network with that down. Prince says, oh wait, no, we missed one. The next one is Cakey John. I don't know how to say that. Um, hi, I hacked you. Love your YouTube vids. I'm so from Slovenia. Oh, hold on a second. Where's Slovenia? Okay, so Slovenia should be next to Italy. Austria, Hungary. Um, let's see if it's on here. There it is. Hey, nice. Thanks for leaving a readme file. Okay, so let's see who else. There's a whole bunch here. I think there's a few more though. Um, where were we at? Okay, so Princess says, I love you, Lazarus. <laughs> love you too. And Vezuko uh, says, Hey, lads, your vids are awesome. Thanks a lot. 575 Ermergersh, I finally found you. Love your vids from Taiwan. Oh, dang, that's, a, that's crazy. I'd love to go to Taiwan. And that one buff guy again, guess who's back? Keep the vids coming. <laughs> That's great. Xbeth says, finally found you, or I found you, uh, just for fun, from Portugal. Hack back, brother. Um, I checked, and Xbeth is actually off my list now, so unfortunately I won't be able to hack back. Um, oh, Stalinsky says, finally found you. Love your video. From Thailand. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Thanks for the support. Um, uh, I'm not sure how to say that name. I'm just going to say, call him Lay for short. Uh, hi from Poland. Another Polander. Ooh, lots of people from Poland. And then we already read those. So that's awesome. Lots more new readme files. So, um, someone in the comments, uh, I lost their comment though, asked me if I could show some replays. And I just did one on... Magnolonium, that's how you say that. Um, let's see here. Ah, yes, level 36. Um, he had a pretty good network here. He had two choke points with the scanner here, and then the little level one storage there. So, he has a high level sentry. He could upgrade it a little more, even though 
He's level 36, higher level than me. Um, I think he put a lot of levels or upgrades into his server farm there in Beacon Mines, which is why he might be a higher level than me. Uh, there might be other reasons too. So, like his guardians. So, um, just gonna try and get through his core here. The first thing I did was um, I let the code gate actually go down just to uh, save money on B coins or save B coins on ice walls there didn't need to use one and we had we were still at the two minute or above the two minute mark so we're doing good on time just taking down these um, nodes here I'm not sure if that guardian is in the best spot I'm not sure where else would be a great place to put it so just taking down this code gate here real quick and his other guardian though is in a very good spot and so smart that you didn't connect your uh, your turrets there together because after you take one you could be easily take the rest got a protector going on there his turrets almost took out my ice wall before the uh, protector installed it seems um, so if your antivirus or turrets were a little stronger buddy you could have took down my ice wall and then the sentry before or the scanner before my uh, protector even installed that would be huge um, but fortunately I was able to get it in time and take it all out so let's see here this is a big choke point did get the protector on there just in time black ice nailing it um, seems like the antivirus did a lot of work on it though um, super close look how small the animation is getting that black ice is actually gonna go down I didn't think it would go down that fast they're weaker than I remembered uh, level 6 his, I think his are so I did put a ice wall on the second one learning my lesson and we are gonna go ahead and grab all the money and resources seems that he had a lot in his Bitcoin mines and server farm there so that was pretty good there you go you got your hack back hope you enjoy <laughs> and uh, there's a few other ones so pixie hacked us so I went ahead and hacked pixie back from Finland um, let's see how that went here uh, 13,000 and I'm sure you already saw that that I did win so let's see how I did it though so I got lucky because his sentry was upgrading that was huge level 9 core still so it's gonna be tough either way um, and his guardian there is super upgraded to protect his turrets and black ice luckily his first code gate though was weak so I was able to get through it with just three beam cannons and I'll be able to use my other two uh, battering rams to get through his other code gates the thing I want to point out though is that his network he was really smart so he has this uh, core connected to this little scanner there so the first thing you attack when you get to the scanner is the core which makes it really um, really hard to or not really hard but just takes a long time to get through unfortunately uh, we just had to deal with it and then after that it goes after the compiler so you'll see that uh, but check that out look at my protector almost went down we were able to get through his defenses because his uh, sentry is down didn't use uh, my protector here saving it for that scanner and we're doing pretty good I don't think there's a lot of resources in his Bitcoin mines and server farms there um, let's see no, there's a little bit in there. So, yeah, you'll see here. So, I had to time it just right because I put on the battering ram, you'll see, just uh, a little bit before the core went down, right? So, I could just time it. It's all about the timing. Now, I could have waited, actually, uh, to get that battering ram on there after, or uh, when it started attacking the uh, compiler there, but I wasn't sure what it was going to do. So... Uh, it still worked out though because after it took down the code gate I just threw on a battering ram and we were good to go although even though the code gate is down it still will take a long time to get through so I was thinking about just putting on another 
uh, beam cannon, but it's just it was too the antivirus was still too strong for that level one scanner, so I left it on. 30 seconds left. 29, 28, it's getting close. Boom, 6,000 in there. That's awesome. Not a lot of money. Well, it's still over 100,000, though. What am I saying? <laughs> uh, but look at all those B coins we're getting. Pretty good heck. And he set it up really well. So the last thing you get is the B coins. But we did manage to get it in the nick of time. 5, 4, 3, we got it. Okay, so. That was a very good network if his antivirus was up, uh, or his stronger antivirus, just to say. Uh, if that was up, that would have been a huge problem, but we got lucky and took in 13,000 V-Coins. Thank you very much. So, let's see some other, one more hack on my network here. Hmm, what should we do? Um, oh yeah, because... Yeah, Magnolonium attack my network. All right, so we're gonna watch how Magnolonium um, gets through my network here. So he is uh, using the portal. So he did get through the code gates. He's going really fast. Oh, he's putting down the portal. Oh my gosh, he's not gonna get it. <gasps> no, wait, he got it? What? That's crazy. I don't know about that. So my guardian is down there. Which is unfortunate, so um, the antivirus needs to quickly get up there, and it does get to the turrets now, but he does have his protector on, which was really smart of him to keep in mind that he didn't need the protector right away. He just needed an ice wall because the antivirus wasn't very strong, and it was only on the sentry, not the turrets too. So that was good. Um, things will change though uh, when the guardian's on there. Uh, so. He did have a shocker with him, which is really going to slow us down. Um, the black guy's still doing huge work on those. And he's flying through ice walls, even though he doesn't need to. Look at the protector still at full health, but he keeps putting on ice walls. That was a huge mistake. You do not need to put on ice walls if your protector is still at full strength. Um, you could see the tail or string is comp at full length there. Um, so, and he just burned through all his ice walls, even though the protector was just sitting there at full health. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, he's just, he won't be able to do anything else. Oh, okay, so he's going to take the money here. Right? Is he going to get it? No, he doesn't. Ooh. He's in a pinch. Is he going to get it? Oh, it's close. Oh, he got it. All right. Good job on him. Um... Yeah, don't don't uh, burn through your ice walls if your protector is still at full health there. So he was putting them on a little bit too fast. Um, I'm sure he might have been a little nervous. He's like, "Well, this guy's base stronger than I thought." <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But that was a pretty good attack. Uh, so I want to upgrade my turrets today, the front ones, if we can. How much are these? 1.5 mil. Oh yeah, so we got one more mill. I do want to get that scanner upgraded, but we're going to wait for right now. Um, I'm going to keep on going here. Uh, oops, I forgot to get my programs ready. So I'm going to go do that, and we'll go on the attack. Okay, guys, so we only need 120,000 more, and I just found the perfect person. So I'm only going to do one turret for right now. Um, because then that would completely ruin my choke point there. And I at least want to have one turret up at least. Just to, um, keep up the choke point and the pressure on anyone who attacks me while, um, the other turret is upgrading. So we're going to do that for right now. This is a pretty interesting network. I don't think it'll be too bad. Just got to focus on these defenses right here and getting through this first code gate. And then I think we'll be fine. Come on, guy. Oh, boy. Maybe I should have put a uh, protector on there. I think we'll be okay, though. I don't think we'll need another ice wall on that. I'm um, just going to wait for that to go down. want to uh, save B-Coins and not have to use a battering ram. Optimize my profit although 
I just used another ice wall. I should, probably should have used a protector. Uh, that's alright. We'll use the protector on that guardian there. And then we'll be good to go. Come on. We're almost there. What? Oh, that guardian's shield keeps going up. That's why I want to upgrade my guardian. Because that would be huge on that choke point to have those uh, large shields. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom. Protector on there. I think the protector is going to install before the black ice hits. Boom. There it goes. Alright, we're doing good. Just gotta get these level 6 black ice down because they're destroying my protector. Get them down. Alright, they're both down. Now we just gotta focus down on this code gate. Um, looks like the protector's going back up. Um, when it gets down to the half white white, no, never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna take off the protector and put on a beam cannon to make it go faster. But we're all good. We got a minute to spare, or a minute left. Alright, that server farm's upgrading so we don't have to worry about that attacking us. One there. Alright, how many connections does Sentry have? Just two more. Alright. Bop, bop. Alright, I think that's enough. That should be enough. And then, 44 sec, 43, 41. There we go, we got it all. Awesome. So, that should be enough. We got all the resources we can leave, head back, get those upgrades started. There it is. Um, I'm going to do the bottom one for right now. Oh, okay. Yep. One day. And how about a program library upgrade? Yeah. Let's do one of those. Wait, it's one day. Wait. One day. Yeah. Well, I want to get my defenses upgraded first. Those are most important. Okay, perfect. Um, and then when that turn's done, I'll put all the building uh, threads on this to get that done. So, there's nothing else really I want to upgrade in here right now. And I had 45,000, so it just worked out perfect to get those done. So, next I want to get upgrading my other turret... My Guardian, my Scanner, and probably the core first out of all those I just mentioned. Because, not that I want to upgrade my core. Well, I do. But I need to. So it's like a priority to get that upgraded right now. Level 35. A lot of people um, around my level have their cores upgraded. So it'll be really uh, important and helpful to get that upgraded to level 9. So I probably want to do that this week. Um, so look forward to that, and there will be a whole bunch more things we can do when we get that upgraded. Plus two nodes. Okay, so things are going to change when we go to level 9. But that will take some time, so look forward to that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like if you did, subscribe to see more, and I will see you all next time. I'm about to